फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल रिटेल मैनेजमेंट स्किल क्लासेस वाई ए के एम इफ़ यू लाइक माय वीडियोस काइंडली शेयर इट एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल रिटेल मैनेजमेंट स्किल क्लासेस बाय ए के एम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क डिस्कस एन इम्पोर्टेंट नोस टू मैक्सिमाइज सेल्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज अंडर क्वालिफिकेशन पैक रिटेल सेल्स एसोशिएट so let us start first by enumerating the various performance criteria under this nose the whole noses are divided into two elements we'll enumerate these element and their performance criteria one by one now start with the performance criteria element 1 identify opportunities to increase the sales of particular products the performance criteria are performance criteria 1 identify promotional opportunities and estimate their potential to increase sale identify promotional opportunity which offer the greatest potential to increase sales pc2 pc3 report promotional opportunities to the right person pc4 fill in the relevant record fully and accurately now element 2 promote particular product pc5 tell customer about promotions clearly and in a persuasive way pc6 identify and take the most effective action for converting promotional sale into regular future sale pc7 gather relevant and accurate information about the effectiveness of promotion and communicate this information clearly to the right person pc8 record clearly and accurately the result of promotion so there are eight performance criteria divided into two elements and four four performance criteria in each elements now we'll discuss in detail these performance criteria under different two elements one by one the first element is identify opportunities to increase sales of particular product so pc1 is identify promotional opportunities and estimate their potential to increase sale so shift your sale focus from attracting new customer to enticing your proven customer to buy again the best sale prospect is a prospect that's already converted in the other word one of your current customer the various marketing communication mix which can help to contribute it in our events and experience public relations and publicity direct marketing interactive marketing word of mouth marketing personal selling advertising and sales promotion these are the communicate communication mix which contribute to it now we'll discuss these communication mix one by one The first is advertising. It is a marketing tactic involving paying for space to promote a product, service, or cause. The actual promotional messages are called advertisement or ads for short. The goal of advertising is to reach people most likely to be willing to the pay for a company's product or service and entice them to buy. The types of advertising methods include newspaper advertising, magazine, radio, television directories, direct mails, catalogs, and leaflets. Online marketing advertising. Now, second is sales promotion. It is the process of persuading a potential customer to buy the product. It is designed to be used as a short-term tactics to boost sales. It is really suitable as a method of building long-term customer loyalty. Some Sales promotions are aimed at customers. The methods of sales promotions includes are sales offer, discount scheme, sales on sale, competitions, coupons, etc. The third one is event and experience. It is something that takes place. Event is defined as a particular context which is the part of a program of the context. An example of an event is the long jump at a school field day. experience is the practical contact with the observation of facts or events like sharing one's experience orally or in written form is the example of experience 
Next is public relation and publicity, a strategic communication process that build manually benefit relationship between organizations and their publics. Examples are government relations, community relations, media relations, media productions, customer relations, marketing communications, and influencers. The main example is media. Personal selling, where the business use people to sell the product after meeting face to face with the customer. Direct marketing, the business of selling product or service directly to the public. The example of direct marketing are by mail order or telephone selling rather than through retailers. Word of mouth, as the name suggests, word of mouth or viva verse is the passing of information from person to person during using uh, oral communication which could be as simple as telling someone the time of the day example of word of mouth are storytelling and sharing experience oral orally interactive marketing the interactive marketing is a one-to-one -one marketing practice, uh, practice that centers on individual customer and prospectors action it involves marketing activities that are triggered by customers' behavior and preferences. Examples of interactive marketing techniques are contest, quizzes, calculator, and polls. You are now a days watching it on uh, apps or through social media also. Now, Performance criteria to identify promotional opportunities which offer the greatest potential to increase sales. The purpose of promotion is to guide the general public into buying a specific product or service within the market. Basically, the purpose for promoting is so that the customer around the world are aware that there is a product being sold. The idea of an organization is to sell the most they can to generate a vast amount of profit. So to do so, pro promoting whatever they are selling is a perfect way to start. It is also cheap. It is also a key in which organization utilize to increase their reputation and expand the name of their brand. Another purpose why organization pro promote is to inflate their sales and to build awareness to the public which is therefore effective to reach a wide audience. It is very helpful in order to attract people from all over the world. It helps business assist for, uh, futures customer to see why they should buy that product or service and help customer to be attracted to the idea of actually buying that product or service. Another reason why organization promote things is to stimulate demand for a product. This help create ideas to future customer on how the specific product or service will be of use to them. When companies promote their products or services through national television, it certainly helps viewers create an image in their own minds of them owning that product or services. Now, PC third, report promotional opportunities to the right person. It is very important to identify a target group before beginning the promotional activities. The target group need to be made aware of the existence of availability of the product through promotion. Successful promotions help a firm to spread cost over a large output. For example, a company like Kellogg's constant is constantly doubling new breakfast cereals. The product element in the new product itself getting the price right involve examining customer perceptions and rival products as well as cost of manufacture. Promotions involve engaging in a range of promotional activities, example competition, product testing, etc. The police involve using the best possible channel of the distribution such as leading supermarket chains. The product is the central point on which marketing energy must focus. Finding out how to make the product, setting up the production line, providing the finance and manufacturing the products are not the responsibility of marketing function. However, it is concerned with what the product means to the customer. Marketing therefore plays a key role in determining such aspects as the appearance of the product in line with the requirement of the market. Second is the function of the product. Product must address the need of the customer as identified through market research. The product ranges and how it is used 
is a function of marketing mix the range may be broadened or brand may be extended for tactical reasons such as matching competitions or catering for seasonal fluctuation alternately a product may be repositioned to make it more acceptable for a new group of customer as a part of long term plan pc4 fill in the relevant record fully and accurately it is important to have a record of all the promotional activities used by an organization to increase its sales these records are used to determine the cost incurred by the company it is it is also help to understand the duration of these promotional activities now we'll start with the element 2 promote particular product pc5 tell customer about promotion clearly and in a persuasive way the main aim of the promotion is to ensure that customer are aware of the existence and the positioning of the product promotion is also used to persuade customer that the product is better than com- competing product and to remind customer about why they may want to buy in fact promotion has many potential uses in business it can be used to increase sales attract new customers encourage customer loyalty encourage trial create awareness inform remind potential customers reassures new customer change attitudes create an image position a product encourage brand switching to st- support a distribution channel now pc6 identify and take the most effective action for converting promotional sale into regular future sale a business will use a range of promotional activities for its product depending on the marketing strategy and the budget available the way in which promotion is targeted is splitted into two types above the above the line promotion the examples are paid form like tv newspaper etc below the line promotion promotional activity where the business has direct control example direct mailing money of coupons it aims directly to the target audience the most effective action to have permanent sales are love what you are doing when you are selling we knowledge well about the product help the customer see the perks ensure that product has adequately explained make the benefits of product loud and clear now pc7 gather relevant and accurate information about the effectiveness of the promotion and communicate this information clearly to the right person to ensure that the effectiveness of the promotional techniques used by any organization the sales person has to ensure that he understand the motivation of customer when presenting the product to the customer we are in mind that most successful products and services are bought not sold they are bought by people who have a need and believe that the product will satisfy the need this is often the result of marketing rather than selling however selling the product rather than just offering it for sale al- almost always involves an emotional component advertising merchandising and marketing are support function for selling selling is the goal of these support functions and a good sales person need to have a decent understanding of each of these aspects of products life long term lovers of your product will only come about if you have been honest with them this means being transparent in your delivery of product information and also admitting your own lack of knowledge or mistakes you have made where needed don't be afraid of honesty it will trust pc8 record clearly and accurately the result of promotion the promotional effectiveness analysis goes beyond immediate sale impact to understand long term implication including future cannibalization portfolio cannibalization and per- promotion profitability we need to perform in depth analysis of the promotion mix including factors like the impact of creative variance of price level the combination of different promotions and the performance of the event based promotion to ensure 
the effectiveness of the promotional technique accurate recording and analysis is very important the impact of creative variance of price level combination of promotional mix can be done through record analysis only so this is all about the national occupational standard to make how to maximize sales of goods and services in the store thank you thank you from retail management skill classes by akm